Hello everyone and welcome to another build video or a build overview video. Uh, this is basically a, a build overview video of the Zod Dart XL Extreme. Uh, it's a it's a wing, it's a flying wing uh, with two ailerons acting as both ailerons and elevators. Uh, it's typically a long range FPV rig. Uh, some people fly it line of sight, some people choose to fly it FPV. I'm basically into FPV, so I've built it as an FPV rig. Uh, just to clarify, this video is an overview of the build. So I'm not going to show you a step-by-step -step build, but basically what parts I used, what kind of challenges I faced, what are my impressions of how easy it is to build it, you know, how it flies. Uh, I'm planning also another video which is a part two of basically iNav settings. So I've built this rig with using iNav um, flight software. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pop the back hatch and I will show you what's inside. So this model is a P and P or plug and play. It comes with a motor. So this motor is a 1300 KV 2216. Um, it comes with a Zod branded uh, 30 amp ESC. The ESC comes with a five volt, three amp back. Um, but we, we're not gonna use the back because of the choice of the flight controller. I will explain that later. It also comes, as you can see here, I'm gonna try to point it out with the stick. It also comes with a lead for VCC. So those that would like to take or basically use battery voltage as is, they can use this red lead that I tucked under the ESC to basically uh, get VCC voltage. Uh, through this lead, through this ESC lead, which has three wires, signal, ground, and voltage, you can get the back voltage, which is five volts, three amp maximum. Moving forward, you will see here, let me just move the camera. This is the Matek F722 wing flight controller. This is a very nice wing controller. Uh, it basically comes uh, with an F7 controller, uh, MPU 6000. Uh, it comes with a barometer, the MP280. Uh, it comes also with an OSD chip, micro SD card for black box. Uh, it comes with five UARTs or five uh, ports so you can call you can connect a variety of, of sensors or, or you know instruments uh, it comes with one soft serial uh, it has two ESC pads it has a, a battery connection so you can connect a battery from 3 to 8s directly to, to, to this uh, flight controller uh, it also has four ADCs or four analog to digital converters. It senses VBAT, current, RSSI, and airspeed. And it has one feature that I didn't use. Maybe some of you would choose to use it. It's basically a switchable camera. So you, you, you can choose to have two cameras and switch uh, between those cameras. Uh, it also has a five volt and a nine volt back. Uh, this is very beneficial if you're powering up your video transmitter so you can use the 9 volt uh, back uh, It can supply 2 amps 3 amps burst um, It has also a very very high precision current sensor So I've actually tried it and it's extremely accurate. So basically uh, whatever um, milliamp uh, I see consumed on my OSD uh, when I go and charge the battery, it injects almost exactly the same milliamp, you know, reading that I've taken from my OSD. Of course, you have to set, uh, you know, uh, the current sensor scale as per the manual, and it's going to work flawlessly. Um, it also has uh, leads for six servos, so you can connect up to six servos to it, uh, and you can choose the servo voltage to be 5 volt, 6 volt, or 7.2 volts. And it has also a 3.3 volt um, lead if you want to connect like um, maybe GPS uh, uh, units or maybe receivers that take 3.3 volts. Okay, so let's move on. 
I've also connected, as you can see here, a buzzer so that you know when I'm looking for it in the field and if the battery has not ejected, I can beep and I can see where the, or I can, I can listen to, to the beep and make sure that I can find my, uh, my plane. And I've also used, as you can see here, the R9MM FR Sky receiver, a long range receiver. Um, only you see you see only three wires coming out of it because I chose to use F port so basically it's uh, voltage 5 volts ground and then F port which is basically used to relay uh, control signals and you know uh, telemetry data which is very convenient you just use three wires uh, instead of using four wires which are basically S port uh, S bus and two uh, voltage lead wires now we just use three wires um, so and as you can see here I don't know if you can if you can see here I've used hot glue to root wires throughout uh, you know the canopy and uh, it's very convenient they don't move anymore you just use hot glue and you fix them to where they are um, so let's move to the front I'm going to remove the hatch And as you can see here, I'm using the DJI Digital FPV system. I Basically, I fly drones uh, or quads, uh, racing quads, and I use the DJI system. Uh, I've moved to digital some time ago, and uh, I even use digital for my wings. Uh, so I've put the DJI system here, and you can see the camera in the front. Uh, this frame or this plane comes basically with those uh, foam uh, pieces that you can use to mount cameras uh, I used that foam piece to mount the DJI camera in the front I don't know if you can see it here so it's mounted in the front behind it I mounted uh, the air unit and from the air unit you see a cable going directly to the camera and then I've used long cables or leads to connect the two antennas to the air unit so to make sure that the antennas are basically stable uh, i used uh, a wooden stick so i fixed the stick uh, to the airframe and then i used the cable and i routed the cable uh, the antenna cable along the stick and i've used this uh, heat shrink tube and i've connected my dji antenna uh, you can see two antennas directed upwards like a V and it works very nice uh, I've been flying this uh, this airplane and uh, the combination of the R9MM receiver along with the DJI digital FP system is really nice the picture is clear um, I've been able till now to fly to about 3.7 kilometers 3.5 kilometers but I use only omni antennas which is really good with with omnidirectional antennas I'm using only stock antennas now what I'm trying to experiment with is basically uh, those antennas I'm gonna mount those patch triple feed antennas the gain is basically 9.4 dBi versus the 2 dBi gain of the stock omni antennas and I think I'm gonna get more range. I'll report on, on that later. Uh, overall, uh, this plane flies really nice, especially with those Vortex generators that you can see on the wings. You can mount them with just a little bit of glue. Uh, it flies very nice, but you see a little bit of wobble. So I'm trying to fix that I think I still need to tune uh, my flight controller. So I'm gonna work on, on tuning the iNav PIFF to basically tune my flight controller. And I've done one more thing recently and I haven't tested the, the outcome yet. So uh, I've mounted the camera uh, using a soft mount. So I've taken basically two plates. I drilled four holes at every plate and I've put rubber grommets in between and then I glued the camera on top and I put it on this mount. So uh, this soft mount should basically 
uh, reduce or basically uh, absorb some of the shaking or some of the vibration and along with the with the proper tuning of the flight controller i think i'll be able to basically remove uh, some of the shaking uh, or some of the vibration uh, i hope you enjoyed this video before i conclude let me just show you the the plane from the front So this is the front of the Dart XL Extreme and you can see the camera mounted, uh, soft mounted actually in the middle and I've even opened uh, the other you know, hole. Uh, the main reason for basically opening that hole is ventilation because behind that hole sits the air unit and the air unit requires you know, uh, ventilation uh, or airflow. Uh, so that it won't heat up um, and it th this does a really good job in keeping the air unit cool and and dandy um, yep so let me put this back what I'll do in the next video is that I'll go over the INAP settings and I would have tried my new uh, PIFF or basically PID uh, values I'm going to basically toy around a little bit with auto-tune and see what kind of a settings I'll get um, and then I'll report back on how this thing flies with the changes in the settings and you know any other stuff that you know uh, you might ask in the comments section so if you like this video if you like the information please hit subscribe and like that would help me a lot uh, I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much uh, Please, if you have any questions, any queries, just leave them in the comments section and I'll be more than happy to answer your questions. Thank you very much and have a nice day.